breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Emma Powerful, the spokesman of IPOB, urged agitators to remain peaceful and focused towards the fight for freedom. In a statement he issued on Friday, Powerful commended the agitators of the three nations for the one million man march in Brussels, Belgium. He urged the European Union to support the agitators in actualizing the creation of their nations. According to Powerful, we, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, hype up, ably led by our great liberator, Mazi Unamdi Okuchuku Kano, congratulate the people of Biafra, Ambazonia, Odudua, and lovers of freedom across the globe, especially those warm despite their tight schedule found it as an obligatory duty and mission to be accomplished and made a groundbreaking Sussex of the one million man match for the emerging nations from the West African sub-region on 14th and 15th of June 2022 in front of the European Union and Parliament in Brussels, Belgium. We are hopeful that as the European nations gathered in Berlin to partition the land of Africa amongst themselves, they will also that same way gather in Brussels to support a peaceful referendum for these emerging nations to freely choose where they wish to belong. It was an epoch event of a historic proportion in which the Biafran delegates were led on behalf of Mazi Unamdekano by the indefatigable head of Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra, HODS. We equally thank the representatives, friends, facilitators, protocol officers of IPOB and Bazonia, Odudua and EU, who made the event successfully, and those who came all the way from America, Canada, India, China, Japan, Israel, Australia and IPOB members, in Europe from France, Italy, Spain, Germany, Poland, Portugal, Switzerland, Britain, Ireland, Austria, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Hungary, Czech, Rep, Belgium, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Catalonia, Wales, Scotland, Ireland and other parts of Europe that played host and contributed in no little measure for the sources of the campaign. Special vote of thanks to those who took the freedom train to join the three emerging nations in Belgium. From particularly Middle East and African countries, we thank those that joined us from the Caribbean. We are certain that freedom knows your name and would never forget you all. May God Almighty Chuku Okike Abiyama guide and protect you as you return safely to your various bases. Appreciations to the people of Catalonia and to the Catalan president for the diplomatic role he played and the assistance he rendered to the Biafran delegation. We shall reciprocate in no distant time as we commenced a robust diplomatic relationship.
having demonstrated readiness to allow us to take our future in our hands, we beckon on the European Union to accord us the appropriate recognition and support us when necessary as we march on for nothing other than self-determination, which would definitely foster mutual beneficial interest between the Afro and European Union. Biafrans, Ambazonians, and Odudua people must be resilient in their pursuit for freedom and we must remain peaceful and focused towards this fight for freedom for our land and our people. We have long ceased to recognize the Nigerian government that have consistently termed any form of political opposition or independent view as terrorists that must be crushed with guns and bullets while the Nigerian compromised mainstream media will cover up any atrocities committed by the Nigerian government. But thank Chuku Abiyama that we have found a voice, voice of truth and freedom through Mazi Unamdekanu and the IPOP leader. For this reason, we demand for a referendum to exercise our right to determine our political, economic, cultural and social systems. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.